Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And Stills has got it. Touchdown, Miami. Kenny Stills from 13 yards out. And the Dolphins have got it back to a one-score game. And a great example there of just getting the feet in a tough spot. It seems like every year these guys get better at this. Well, I think the drills get better that they work on, training camp, off-season work, OTAs. But also, a lot of these guys have dance backgrounds, ballet backgrounds, and they take that and carry it over to the football field. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. And New York set to take the field. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> not one that I've ever met. Second down here after the incomplete pass. Here's McCown. And this is caught by Curse. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might ride here into some tough coverage. He's not going to have a first down. They say he was out of bounds. So a big call there. That brings up fourth. A third down. He tried to stay in bounds. Did all he could. He caught it, but was led a little bit too far. Yeah, and that's always difficult, isn't it? Because you know half of your body is trying to stay behind while the other half is reaching out, trying to catch the football. The top half worked. It was the bottom half that was in question. And here's a big one now. Try to hold this lead. They're going to go for regal. it here Chinese on fourth on down. The Jets go for it. Here's hey, hey. McCown. Got three. Got three. Three down. Three down. And no, it's incomplete. The Todd Bowles tried it, went for it, but it didn't pay off. Let's go. Let's go. And the Dolphins get the football in great field position. The Dolphins offense now working their way back onto the field. And they're going to need another score. Got one last time, but still down here. When you're playing catch up, every possession becomes crucial, doesn't it? It's vital. Get back out on the field, punch it in the end zone again. They know it's not easy, but when they do what I'm going for them, they did score the last time. They think they've got a good formula working. And what about the defense? Well, now you're just saying to yourself, okay, we gave up a score last time. What adjustments do we need to make to slow them down now and get the ball back for our own offense? Is it more pressure? Is it more zone? What do they have to do? They're trying to figure that out themselves. We'll see if they can figure that out right here. And let's see what the defensive coordinator may have up his sleeve here to try to get this final last stand and win this football game. To throw on second down is Tannehill. They'll set up the screen to Drake. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. That one good for 17 yards. And now they've got it first and goal. Now the Jets are going to burn another timeout. That's going to leave them with just one remaining here in this fourth quarter. So this offense really needs to make something happen here late in the fourth with the football. On first and goal, Drake. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. And now we're going to get a timeout here called by the defense. So that will leave them with no timeouts left. Still plenty of time on the clock. We'll see how that affects things here in this fourth quarter. They come up in an offset eye. Now Tannehill. Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. Coney Ely. In there to sack him for a loss of six. for a break. 
break. We're back to see what happens after this. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting right, into it right. as we come up on a big third down. Tannehill. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. Good contain. No gain on the screen, and they'll bring up fourth down. So unable to get any yardage at all off of the screen there on third down. And ordinarily on third down, that's when you want to bring pressure. You get all your guys who want to get after the quarterback. But how about the patience they showed? Read the play, snuffed it out, and made a nice stop. Likely the play of the game here, trailing in the final hey, hey, Brad, quarter Brad, and going for it on fourth and goal. Yo, As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And that is caught. Touchdown, Miami. Jarvis Landry from eight yards out. And the Dolphins can take the lead with the extra point. Now they can boot it through on the always important extra point, and then their defense has to hold up their end of the bargain. And there's something that you've pointed out in numerous games that we've worked. Okay, the excitement's going on. Everyone's celebrating over there. Who's calling up the defense to make sure they're focused because they still have some work to do? And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. Now the Jet offense about to take over as they head out onto the field. They're only in need of a field goal, a decent amount of time on the clock. So, tell me if I'm wrong, you don't have to be too panicked here. No, not at all. I agree with you. And this is where your preparation and your confidence comes into play. They've worked on these situations. Yeah, they practice this all the time. Oh, they practice it all the time. They know what they want to get done. And in a lot of cases, the great competitors, they love this situation. They think they can go ahead and get it done. They practiced it. We'll see if practice makes perfect. They still can't get it. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. Okay, he's not going to get the first down, but this is still a nice job of buying some time and then running to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit. Well, look to throw. Hauled in by Anderson, left side. He takes it across for the touchdown, and they've taken the lead late in the final minute of the fourth. Wow, wow, wow. I know it's a never-say-never never situation. But to me, that looks like that's the one that's going to finish them off. The score that puts them in front here late, but now you got to rally your kick team, don't you, and say the last thing we need is a big return. And what happens is guys get overeager, get out of their lane because they're so excited they want to make the last tackle. And you mess up. They come back at you. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by Kiko Alonso. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Captain Zero out now as he'll kick this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. They're down here in a one-score game. But the time, it's a factor, but it's not a huge factor right now, is it? It's really not because this amount of time gives them a chance to run their offense, to go through play sequences. And this is what they work on every week in practice, usually on a Friday. They go over this type of a situation, late game situation. What are we going to do when we have the opportunity? They've caught these plays a bunch of times. Now's their chance to execute them. Yeah, they have the opportunity now. Here's the execution. And before this second down play, we'll get a whistle, a signal, and a timeout. As they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this fourth quarter. He's back to throw. To the right side here, the tight end Thomas. 
And he takes this one down all the way near the 30. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As he'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. And now a first down following that long gain. Man left, man left. Here you go, tiger, tiger, tiger. Hey, hey, hey. Go, go, go. Back to throw. Throwing the yes, out route yes. incomplete. That's Parker. And he's going to be out of bounds down inside the 20 at the 15. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. try and rush back into this stadium. <laughs> yeah. What Just looks down. like is going to be the game deciding score, although a little bit of time left, so you can't count your chickens before they're hatched. Well, they better come back in here and watch this one because you and I, we're not going anywhere. We want to see this one play out. So they're going to go for two. Watch tight. Tight is right. Watch tight. Tight is right. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh, yay. Lock. Hot, 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 hot. Five down. Five down. Stand up in. Tannehill, and he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Here's Parkey now set to kick it away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. Now the Jets' offense, they get ready to head back onto the field. They only need a field goal. Obviously, the clock a huge factor. They'll be watching that. What do they need to do here, Charles? Your sequence of plays has to get you out of bounds. Completions, get out of bounds, gain some yardage. Then when the clock hits seven seconds or left, now you've got a decision. Are you in field goal range, or is it Hail Mary time? Because from seven seconds down, you don't want to take a shot if you're going to have another play. We'll see how they handle it. He throws there incomplete. So he's unable to complete it there, and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark really start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here, or is he just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. Defense really showing respect to the deep ball. He's playing off the receivers. He'll look to throw. That's complete over the middle to Anderson. And he takes this one just shy of midfield all the way to the 49. That one goes for 24 yards. One final try for McCown. Eluding the pressure right. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Well, Charles, this one's going to be hard to digest. You take the lead into the fourth quarter, lose that lead. Maybe they felt like they let this one slip away a little bit. 